Pakistani Extended Family versus the American Family A Pakistani family is more than a mother, father, and children. The family extends to parents, aunts, uncles, and cousins, all living nearby or in the same household. Regions in Pakistan have predominant tribes. Here you can see a map of ethnic tribes. Most of the areas have only one tribe living in them. Within the tribes, there are family groups and clans. Pakistani social life revolves around the family. Even the most modern or westernized families rely on each other. The family provides a sense of belonging, protection, and social organization. The patriarch of the family holds everyone together. The senior male is the head of the household and expected to make decisions for the good of the group. The elders of the extended family are treated with respect and taken care of by their children and grandchildren. When the patriarch passes away, sons will establish their own households made up of their sons, their sons' wives, and their children. Disputes between family members, particularly among women, can split households. In Pakistan, families live in tight quarters. On average, 6.7 people live in each household. According to Malala Yousafzai, Pashtunwali obliges us to give hospitality to all guests. Even if the family has little, you are invited and given the best of what they have. The roots run deep in Pakistan. In the United States, the picture is a bit different. In 2015, there were 124.6 million households in the U.S. An average of 2.54 people lived in each household, a 24% drop since 1960. The American family generally consists of a mother, father, and children living in the same house and nurturing each other. Less value is placed on extended families. Families are scattered throughout the country Many people choose to live in households without family at all. In 1960, there were just 3.6% or 6.9 million people living alone in the U.S. By 1980, this number rose by 50%, an increase in 20 years. By 2000, it rose to 9.17%. In 2015, there were 34.87 million, a 300% increase since 1960. This is largely due to the declining value of family and increased age of marriage. Currently, 10.85% of Americans live alone. Conversely, in Pakistan, only 5.55 live alone. This is one facet of family values in the United States versus Pakistan. In Pakistan, people in urban areas are up to 10 times more likely to live alone compared to their rural counterparts. While the average age of marriage in America is rising, Pakistan still battles the problem of child brides. The practice of arranged and child marriages are very common. It is estimated that 21% of girls are married before age 18. Early or forced marriage is widespread and is most common in the Sindh province. Deep-rooted culture and family honor play a large role in this practice. The close relationship between female chastity and family honor forces many family members to marry girls at an early age to prevent sexual transgression and damage family reputation. In Pakistan, shame and honor are both shared among a family. A common Punjabi proverb expresses this view. One does not share the bread, but one shares the shame. According to a 2011 Reuters poll, Pakistan is the third most dangerous country for women in the world. It cited that more than 1,000 women and girls are murdered in honor killings every year and reported that 90% of the Pakistani women suffer from domestic violence. Pakistani families can be loving and happy. Thank you for viewing my presentation.